Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relationship Guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step-by-step, -step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long-term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also. And I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, How to Keep a Man on His Toes. Right, ladies? So you trying to figure out how to keep a man on his toes, how to prevent a man from getting too comfortable, how to make a man consistently put in effort and how to make a man afraid of losing you, right? Like you got this man walking on eggshells. This man, he afraid to make any mistakes with you. He know not to play with you. He know he need to treat you right and he need to respect you. And he know that you not tolerating nothing, no type of disrespect, nothing offensive, nothing, you know? You need the utmost respect and that's what you deserve and you not tolerating less. And now you trying to figure out how you can keep this man on his toes. Because a lot of guys, you know, they be up on their high horse and they think so highly of themselves. And they just think they just the king of the world. And you trying to let this man know that, hey, you met the right one over here. Because you thought that, you know, I was a certain type of woman and you could just treat me any type of way because you used to treating certain type of women, them other chicken heads and hoochie mamas and hood rats. You used to treating them a certain type of way. But when you came to me, you know, I had to let you know it wasn't no game. So these are some tactics, right? These are some top strategies that I'm going to give you ladies that's going to guarantee that you are going to have that man on his toes, walking on eggshells. He going to be so afraid to even make a mistake, to even, he going to think twice to even disrespect you. He going to be like, oh, no, I'm never going to put myself in jeopardy of losing her, right? He will be afraid of losing you. So you want a man to be afraid of losing you. You want to put fear you want this man to be afraid. You want to put fear in this man's heart that, hey, 
You know, I could be gone at any given moment. So you better act right and you better treat me right. Otherwise, guess what? I'm going to be long gone, you know, and you ain't never going to hear from me no more. So you got to keep a man on his toes and you got to show him that you're not a game, right? So ladies, without further ado, we going to jump right into this video, right? And I'm going to give you my top four. Yes, four simple ways, four easy ways, four easy secret ways how you as a woman, how you can keep a man on his toes, have him walking on eggshells, make sure that he continues to put in effort and he don't start slacking because he know that if he starts slacking and he don't put in effort, he going to lose you, right? So this is how you get a man to always chase you and always respect you, right? So number one, the first way how you as a woman, how you can keep a man on his toes is you have to play hard to get. So sometimes you got to play hard to get. Because a lot of guys, they used to women throwing they stuff at him, right? They used to women always just chasing. And you so handsome. You know, I like your car. I like you. I like your house. I like your shirt. I like your pants. I like your shoes. I like everything about you. You just so handsome. OMG, right? And these women are being like, pick me, pick me, pick me. You know, stuff like that. And this man, he gets so big-headed, and now his ego is inflated. So you got to bring this man back down to earth. So you got to kind of play hard to get. You got to do exact opposite of what all them other women are doing around him. All them other women is chasing him, chasing his validation. When can I see you? When can we hang out? You so handsome. You know, they calling him. They texting him all the time. Good morning, handsome. Good morning, king. You know, good morning, handsome. You know, they going crazy over this man. And this man, all he doing is just looking at all them women like... All they doing is just feeding my ego. Like, look at this pathetic woman chasing up after me. That's how he looking at all them other women. So you got to be the woman that's not doing none of that. And that's how you get his attention. Because he going to feel like, wait a minute. I got all these other women chasing me, chasing my validation, thinking I'm just the hottest thing that came out in the world. You know, she just think I'm just the cat's meow. I'm just all that in a bag of chips. She think I'm just everything. But this woman right here, she act like I don't even exist. She act like, you know, like she, I'm, I don't really know if she feeling me or not. Like, you know, sometimes when I call her, sometimes she answers, sometimes she don't. Sometimes when I text her, sometimes she texts me, sometimes she texts me back. And sometimes, you know, she might not text back for hours later or the next day. I never know with this woman what's going on, you know, and it really messes up his ego and it messes with his pride because you are acting like a woman that got options. You're acting like a woman that got standards. You acting like a woman that's not thirsty. You acting like a woman that's not easily impressed. So you got to be not easily impressed. You got to be kind of nonchalant, kind of, you know, just cool. Like, don't be thirsty. Don't be desperate. Don't be over complimenting him. Don't be chasing up after him. You know, don't be doing too much. Don't be calling him and texting him. And when can I see you? And what, what, what you doing today? And all this extra stuff, like, stop it. Let the man come to you. And when you kind of just remain where you at and you just chill and relax and let him do all the calling, let him do all the texting, let him say, I want to take you out, let him do everything and you decide what you want to do. You as a woman, you have to play cat and mouse and you never want to be the cat. You never want to be the chaser because chasing is exhausting. You want the man to come to you. So when you get a man... So the way how you keep a man on his toes is kind of being hot and cold, in and out. You know, wishy-washy, nonchalant. I don't really care whether you come or go. When you got that type of attitude with a man and you like, I don't really care. You know, whether we talk today, if we don't talk today, 
You know, it don't matter. If he don't call you, we just ain't gonna talk. That's how you gotta be. If this man don't call you, hey, <laughs> we just ain't talking then because you not gonna call him. So this man gonna get in his mind like, wait a minute, wait, this woman is a high value woman. This woman, she don't like me. She not chasing me. She not all over me. She not wrapped around my finger. She not all attached to me. She not all over me like all these other women. So now that make me want her. How do I get her to be just like all these other women? How do I get her to chase me? How do I get her to want me? How do I get her to be around me and get attached to me? Because she acting like she don't see me. She acting like I'm invisible. You know, she show me a little attention here and there, but it ain't enough attention. She not wrapped around my finger. She not, you know, bending over backwards for me. She not chasing my validation, you know? Or maybe you're not sleeping with him yet. Let's just say you're not even sleeping with this man yet, you know, or maybe, you know, you taking your time. Maybe you slept with him one time, a couple times and you like, hey, I'm cool. I'm chilling. Right. You know, I don't want to do it right now. Let's just chill tonight, you know. And now this man is going crazy. Like, wait a minute. Am I going to get the booty or not? Like she gave me the booty last time. But this time, she acting like she don't want to give it to me. What's going on? I need the booty. What is she doing? She not going to give it to me? She gave it to me before that one time or uh, or twice or three times. She skipped the time when she seen me and she don't want to do it. And she don't want to have sex with me. Like, what's up with that? Like, what's she doing? Why is she pulling back? Why is she not all over me? I feel like I need to get sex out of her whenever I feel like it. You know, once she give me sex that one time, or even if I didn't even get the sex yet, you know, I feel like I'm supposed to get it when I want it. And when this man don't get the sex at the snap of a finger, when he feel like it, now all of a sudden he like, wait, 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 wait. It makes him, it makes his man go crazy in his mind because now his ego is hit because he's like, you don't find me sexually attractive that you want to jump all over me and have sex with me? You you can push me off to the side like I'm not good enough? Like you don't want this down here? You don't want this? You, you don't want this? I'm trying to get this to you, girl. You don't want this? It's not good. What, what's going on? You know, and you talking about, oh, my stomach hurt or, oh, you know, I don't really feel too good. Not tonight. I'm chilling. This man, he like, wait, sometimes I get the booty. Sometimes I don't get the booty. You know, he never know. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes he, sometimes you answer the phone. Sometimes you too busy and you call him back later, you know, or sometimes you too busy and he end up calling you back later. And then maybe you answer that time. Or maybe, you know, he texts you and you take, you know, a few hours because you busy to text him back. Or or maybe you don't text him back at all and he double texts you because he like, hey, you didn't, you didn't get my first text. And now he's investing into you because he's chasing you because you pulling back and you acting like you don't really care. Like you give him a little bit and you take it all away, you know. Or, you know, you give him a little attention a little bit and then you just take it away. You know, you talk to him on the phone for a little bit. You say, oh, OK, I got to go. You know, <laughs> you text him for a little bit and then you just stop texting him all together, you know, for the rest of the night. You know what I'm saying? Just out the blue. And he like, what's up with this woman? Why can't I catch her? What's going on? What's up with her? So now automatically he cannot act up and he cannot you know, do you wrong or treat you wrong or trip with you because it's too much of a hassle. You know, how how you going to trip with somebody that don't care? He How, how you going to disrespect somebody or how you going to, you know, play somebody that they don't even really care whether you come or go or they just acting like, you know, they kind of interested, but they not all that interested. Like you ain't got them wrapped around. 
like they not wrapped around your finger, but you know, they, they like you a little bit. So this man, he don't know what to do. So he's conflicting with himself. Cause he's like, do this woman, she, she like me. Cause we hang out. And when we do hang out it's good, but sometimes she too busy to hang out. Sometimes she say, Hey, you know, when I invite her out, sometimes she too busy to hang out. So then the times when he do hang out with you, he appreciate and he respect those times more and he's less likely to act up or to do anything that's going to, you know, hurt you because he ain't got no time to. He never know when he going to talk to you. He never know he, when he going to see you. He never know when he going to get the booty. So he on his best behavior because... You know, he can't take you for granted because he never know when he going to get you again. So he can't take you for granted because you in and out. You hot and cold. I never know when I'm going to see you. I never know when I'm going to talk to you. I never know if we ever going to have sex again or not. Or if I'm ever going to get the booty in general, ever. So he probably never got it. And he want it. He want the booty, but you never gave it to him. And it's messing with his ego because he's like, I want that. I need that. And for whatever reason, you know, she liked me enough to hang out with me. But, you know, I'm not getting all the results as fast and quick as I want it. You got to understand that right now we live in a fast and quick kind of world, right? Everything is fast and quick right now. So a lot of men, you know, they dating online and they get women, you know, coming over same night, you know, they can see a woman out and have sex with her the same night. They can go out to the club, bring a girl back same night, you know. So a lot of these guys, they used to easy, fast women. Some some men, they used to easy and fast women because it's a lot of easy, fast women that just throw themselves at men. So a lot of men, they don't appreciate certain types of women that are so easily impressed or just, or that's just so thirsty and desperate and easy in general. Anything that's easy, that's why a lot of men take advantage of women because a lot of women, they just be drooling over the men and all up under him and what can I do for you? Anything you need, blah, 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 blah. And he don't care nothing about her and he disrespect her whatever because he know that you always there. He know that you always there. He know that he can just pick up the phone and you going to answer that phone every time he call. He know that every time he texts you, you going to jump over everything and grab your phone and text him back. As soon as you see them dots come up and you see his name pop up, you text him right back. You know what I'm saying? He know that you always available for him. He know that, hey... I, I know I can call her whenever I feel like calling her and she going to answer. So I don't feel like calling her today. I'm going to call her when I feel like it. She going to answer anyway. Whenever I feel like calling her, I know she going to answer. So if I don't call her today or if I don't call her tomorrow or I'll get around to it when I get around to it, she'll be okay. Right? But when he never know when you going to answer, now he's like, oh, wait a minute, you know? Or when he texts you, you know, if you text him back so fast, all the time, he like, <laughs> I can text this girl whenever or, you know, texting you just feeding his ego and stuff. So he don't take you seriously. But then when you text him a little bit and you just stop texting him or when he texts you, you don't text him back. He like, wait a minute, what's going on? Wait, why can't I just have her right now, right now around my finger? What's up? Why she act like she not attached to me? So it messes with this man's self-esteem on the inside, right? Which puts him on his toes. And now he appreciates you more because you ain't all up under him. You know, you hot and cold in and out. And he never know what to do with you because, because you are a mystery to him. And he never know when he going to get, you know, anything, sex, uh, attention, anything. And you always playing cat and mouse. So this man just going in circles, right? But he's chasing you because he trying to get you wrapped around his finger. So he ain't even got time to be acting up or getting too comfortable. How you going to get too comfortable if I ain't even got you yet? I ain't got you wrapped around my finger how I want you. So I can't get too comfortable. But if this man know that he got you wrapped around his finger, now this man know, hey, you know, I already got her. It's too easy. I ain't got to put in no effort. I ain't got to call her. I ain't got to text her. I ain't got to go see her. I don't, I don't care nothing about her. I can disrespect her, treat her however, because I know she always going to be there at the end of the day. 
But when this man don't know if you're going to be there at the end of the day or not, he respects you more because now your value goes up because you're not always available whenever he get ready on his time. You are not on that man's time. That man should not be able to say, oh, you know, I can call her whenever I feel like it. I'm going to text her whenever I feel like it. I can go see her whenever I feel like it, and she going to do it. I can tell her do whatever, and she going to do it. No, nah, a man should not have you wrapped around his finger like that to tell you what to do. You know, he got to work for you. He used to the other women that he don't got to work for, but he got to work for you, right? So that keep that man on his toes because, again, he don't have no time to act up because he chasing you. If you chasing somebody, you ain't got no time to act up with them because you never know when you're going to see them or hear from them again. So he ain't even got no time to worry about tripping or acting up with you, right? You know, pick up when you, when you get ready. It's on your time. You should never, ever be on a man's time. You are on your own time. When you get ready to answer your phone or you get ready to call him or, or text him or see him, that's when you will do it. Not when he get ready to whenever that is because he can just call you and text you and see you whenever he feel like it. It don't work like that, right? So that's number one. So number two. The second way, how you as a woman, how you could keep a man on his toes and prevent him from getting too comfortable and make him appreciate you and always respect you is never, ever validate him. So, like I was saying earlier in this video, don't be all up over this man. You so handsome, you so fine. I want to have your baby you know, drooling over this man and I'll do anything for you, anything you need me to do, your highness, I will do it for you because you are just the, the most amazing man I ever seen, I ever had, I ever knew. You know what I'm saying? And you need to calm down and take him off of a pedestal. It's so many women, you put a man up on a pedestal and that's why he treats you like trash. He treats you like trash and he get too comfortable because you keep putting him up, up, up on a pedestal. And as you're putting him up, 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 he's putting you down, down, down. So and you also putting yourself down because you're, you're basically saying that he has more value than you and that he's the catch and that he's better than you and that you are the one that's lucky to have him instead of it being the other way around. You want... You want to be the catch. You want to be the prize. You know what I'm saying? So you want this man to put you up on the pedestal. But when you put him up on the pedestal, now that's why he treats you any type of way and he get too comfortable. And now he just start treating you however he feel like it. So to prevent him from doing that, you should not validate that man. What does validation look like? I'm going to tell you what validation looks like. Validation looks like compliments. Don't be telling this man how nice his car is. Don't be telling this man how handsome he is, how tall he is, how 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 good his tattoos all over his body look, how his clothes look, how his shoes look, how his house look. Stop giving so many compliments, right? Don't be giving out so many compliments. And then don't always be so easily impressed again. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be just telling this man and letting him know your interest level and how much you like him. You never, ever, ever want to let a man know how much you like him because you do not know how much he like you. Because now that you told him how much you like him, now he got all the power. And now he felt like, okay, well, now I know that you like me. And now he can gauge how much he likes you based on your attraction for him. And now he can choose to pull back because now he knows that you like him and you will chase up after him. So now he don't have to put in no work because he know your interest level and he know you'll do anything for him. And he know that you really, really like him so he can really, really use you. So that's all he will use you for is for everything, your money, your booty, your emotional support, your companionship everything that come with you, your cooking, cleaning, everything, 
he will use you for all of that just because you throwing yourself at him. So when you throw yourself at him, you so fine. Hey, hey, pick me, pick me, pick me. Look what I can do. Look over here. I can cook. Look look at this home-cooked meal. I can clean. Look how clean your house is, you know? I can give you good sex. Look how good I can give it to you, you know? Look, I can do this. I can do that. Pick me, pick me to be your girl. Please, please, anything, anything for you to be my man, right? And that is exactly how that man is looking at you. He looking down at you like pathetic. Look at this pathetic woman that's chasing about the me that want me so bad and willing to do anything. This woman begging on her knees to allow me into her life to give her a chance and to do it. And she's willing to give me everything. So this man, he will take advantage of all that power you gave him because you basically volunteered to give him everything out of you. You volunteer. Let me cook for you. Let me clean for you. Let me give you good sex. Let me give you some money. You you need some money. You need your hair cut. You want some new shoes. You want some new clothes. You want this. You want that. Anything. You know, you just spending all your money on this man. And he just going to say thank you. And he going to take it, take it, take it. Thank you for the booty. Thank you for the money. Thank you for all the trips and dates and everything you did for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for rubbing my back, rubbing my feet, treating me like a king. I didn't even have to work for it. I didn't even have to put in no effort because you wanted me. You chased me. You was you was chasing after me. You was trying to show me how great of a woman you was. And I didn't have to show you how great of a man I was. I didn't have to show you nothing. All I did was show up. All I did was just be me and you drooling over me, willing to do anything for me. You willing to break your back, break your neck, break your arm for me. You know what I'm saying? You willing to do anything to get my attention. So this man like, okay, well, thank you. I'm going to use you. So you want it to really be the other way around. You want to flip it around and you want this man to be the one chasing about the you. You want this man to be, you so pretty, you so fine, girl. I just want to make you mine. Oh, you know, oh, I just want you so bad. You just don't know how amazing of a woman you are, girl. You a big cat. You so talented and you so amazing. You so smart. You know, you got it going on, girl. Oh my gosh, girl, ain't nobody like you. Oh, we, you so hot. You know what I'm saying? If I touch you, you gonna sizzle. You know what I'm saying? You so hot, girl. Ooh, we. You know, you want this man to be, wow, wow, when can I see you? When can I, you know, hang out with you? You know, when, what can we do? I want to see you. What's up? You know, you want him to be chasing about the you, wanting to see you, telling you how beautiful you are, how much he like you. Oh, you know, I really like you. You know, I really enjoy the time we spend together. You know, I want you to be my girl. I want you to be my wife one day. You know, I really can see a future with us. You want that. You want that man to be telling you that instead of you telling him that. And when you stop telling a man that, then guess what? He will start to tell you that because somebody got to say something. Somebody got to chase somebody. So if you don't chase his validation, this man, he don't have no choice but to chase your validation because you ain't chasing. So that is the whole key is you got to stop chasing and just remain in your feminine energy and receive and allow this man to be in his masculine energy and be a hunter. Men are natural hunters. So you got to give a man something to hunt. It's a lot of women. Y'all don't give a man nothing to hunt. You are the one hunting the man. How are you going to hunt a man and he the hunter? That don't make no sense. You got to let that man hunt you and you got to be the one that's the prey. You know what I'm saying? But if you chasing him, he don't got to chase because he like the prey came to me. If the prey came to me or if the prey going to chase me, then guess what? I don't have to chase. I don't have to try hard. I don't have to do nothing, you know, because she can to me. So you got to flip it around and you want to keep a man on his toes and you want that man to come to you instead of you chasing his validation, right? So that's number two.
So number three, the third way how you as a woman, how you can keep a man on his toes and prevent him from getting too comfortable and how to make this man afraid of losing you and put fear in this man's heart is you need to check that man on every single thing that man do. If that man so much as sneezed the wrong way, if that man so much as coughed the wrong way, if that man so much as breathed the wrong way, call him out. Call him out on the smallest, tiniest things. Call him out on everything, right? Call him out. Any little minor infraction that rub you the wrong way or make you feel any type of way, say something. Check him. Hey, hey, I don't like that right there. That right there that you did. I ain't feeling it. You need to get your act together because I ain't with it. Check him on every single thing that he does, you know, and let him know, hey, I ain't having it. I don't like that. Oh, that right there. Hey, look, I'm not laughing. He might be laughing, thinking it's a joke, thinking it's a joking manner. And you sitting there like, I'm not laughing. Like, next time you do that, I'm going to be done with you. So, I'm not playing with you. You know what I'm saying? And this man like, dang, okay, all right, dang, you can't take a joke. But you got to say, no, nah, it ain't about joking. You right, I can't take a joke because I'm not no joking type of woman. I'm a for real type of woman. I don't play games. So, I'm not going to be joking around with you, right? So, this man like, okay, all right. I need to take you seriously. I know I can't play around and joke around with you because you ain't having it. You demand respect and I ain't got no choice but to take you seriously and respect you. You got to call this man out on every mistake, every little minor infraction that he do. Don't let nothing slide. Nothing. Don't let nothing slide. If he do anything that make you upset, Say something. Hey, I ain't with it. Hey, you better chill out. Hey, look, look. This right here that you did, you see what you, you see where you went wrong? You see this right here? This is where you had me messed up at. This right here, I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling this. I need you to get your act together. I'm not feeling that. And this man like, dang, okay, all right. Like, dang, you know? And now this man, you make this man afraid of making mistakes. You got this man subconscious in his mind because he like, wait a minute, I got to be on my P's and Q's with this woman because I can't make no mistakes with her because everything that I do, she going to say something and I don't want to hear her mouth. I, I do not. Hey, I, I want to keep the peace. I don't want to hear her mouth because she trained me to act a certain way and treat her a certain way. And if I don't, hey, I could lose her. Or it's going to be some consequences. So you got this man shaking, afraid to even make a mistake. Or you got this man walking on eggshells because you call out every single thing that he do. So he like, hey, I don't even want to make no mistakes. Because if I even sneeze the wrong way, she going to call it out and say something. You know what I'm saying? If I do anything that offends this woman, anything that, you know, makes her feel uncomfortable, she going to say something. You know, anything. You know, any minor thing. And now this man felt like, wow. And now he's subconscious. You got this man going in his own mind, subconscious, like, wow. And now he start feeling like everything that he do is not good enough. You start making this man feel subconscious about himself, like he not good enough. Like he not that guy. Like he not the man. You make him feel like, hey, you not that guy. You not that man, sir. You not him. You know, you not perfect. You basically telling this man, you not perfect. You made a mistake here. 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 You got it. You got, you did right here. You did right here. You did right here. And when you're critical about what this man does in his life and stuff like that. So dang, I'm not good enough. So I need to try harder, right? I need to try harder because I'm not perfect. Because this man ain't nobody ever told this man that he was wrong. Or if they did tell this man he was wrong, he ain't believe it or he ain't care. But when he came to you and you was like, hey, <laughs> look where you messed up at. You messed up right here, right here, right here. I ain't having it. I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this. This man like, dang, I ain't never had nobody. Dang, dang, you all me. You all me. You not playing. You you on you on me. So I know I can't get away with nothing. You on my back, girl. 
you got you on my back. So I know I can't get away with nothing. I know I can't treat you wrong. I know I can't do nothing because any little thing I do, you're going to open your mouth and say something. So I want to keep the peace. Most men, they don't want, they don't even want to hear, hear your mouth. They don't want to hear you nag. They don't want to hear you. They don't want to hear your mouth and stuff like that. So they like, hey, okay, let me chill. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me, all right. Let me, let me make sure that I'm doing right by you so you don't trip. Because I don't need you tripping. Because when you get to tripping, hey, I got to hear your mouth and I I, I want to keep the peace, right? So now this man is subconscious in his head and he feel like he's not good enough. Now it makes it seem like you're the one, like you're the prize and he's not the prize. So that's how you trick him in his mind to say, hey, when you point out all this man's flaws and all this man's mistakes and stuff and you hold this man accountable, when you hold a man accountable for his actions and he got to look himself in the face because you pointing everything out. Now he like, whoa, he like, whoa, this woman is a no nonsense type of woman. She the prize and she know her worth. So I ain't got no choice but to treat her a certain type of way. Otherwise, I'm going to lose her because she up on a pedestal now. So if she up on a pedestal now because she call out all my mistakes. She make me feel like, you know, I need to get my act together. And like, she's the one that's perfect. And now it kind of makes it seem like you're better than him. So now in his mind, he's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, if this woman is the prize, now I have to chase her validation or now I have to chase her and I have to be on my A game and I have to, you know, be on my toes because otherwise she going to be gone. Right. So that's number three. So number four, the fourth and last and final way how you as a woman, how you can keep a man on his toes and prevent this man from getting too comfortable with you and to put him in his place so that he know not to play with you is you want to still be attractive to other men, right? And then if you not with him, if you're not in a relationship with him, then continue to date other men, right? So if you just dating this guy, continue to date other men. But if you're in a relationship or if you're in a marriage currently, then what you want to do is you want to still be attractive to other men. So you ain't got to necessarily entertain or step out or cheat on him. I'm not saying you got to cheat on him, but you want to be but you still want to be appealing to other men so that they like you and that always keep him on his toes and always alert and always to respect you and hold on to the woman that he got because he is afraid of losing you to another man because he know what type of woman he got. He know how beautiful you are. He know how good you look. He know how well you dress. He know how amazing your body look. He know, hey, if I like her and I like what I see, I know that other men like what, like what they see. And I want to limit how much men, you know, like her. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want the chances of another man to take my spot. But if other men find you attractive or other men are trying to approach you or holler at you, even if, keep in mind, you ain't even do nothing. You not asking for the attention, but the men, they just like you. But you kind of doing it on purpose. You always want to look good. So like when you go out in public, when you with this man, you always want to look good, right? So when you walking with your man, and other guys is around and they breaking their neck and breaking they breaking their back trying to trying to look at you and trying to see you and stuff like that. Your man next to you, he gonna be like, wait, look at all these men that's looking at my girl. They know that that they looking at your girl. They know that those other guys is looking at you. He know. He know that those other guys are looking at you. You know, he know they ain't looking at him. So he know, hey, you know, when I'm walking down the street and I'm with my girl and we see a whole bunch of guys or we pass up a guy or two and they look and they breaking their back and breaking their neck for her. I know I got to and I know I got to really cherish this woman 
Otherwise, another man could easily take her away because other men find her attractive. Other men want her. And you didn't even do nothing. Keep in mind, you ain't did nothing. Or let's just say you out running errands. You could be out running errands, right? And then you come back home, you could be out running errands, right? And let's say when you out running errands, this guy approach you and this guy try to holler at you and tell you, you know, you, you got a man, you so fine, you know, let me get your number, blah, blah, blah. And you tell that man, hey, you know, I got a man and I'm good, right? I got a man, I'm good, blah, blah, blah. You reject him, right? So when you go home, you tell your man, hey, somebody was trying to holler at me. You know, I was out and about and blah, blah, blah. And this guy out of nowhere at Walmart, when I was out running errands and I was at Walmart or I was at the gas station or wherever, this man tried to approach me and he asked for my number, but I turned him down, right? Now, you may think that, you know, you shouldn't tell your man nothing like that, but it actually keep that man on his toes because he's like, wait a minute, wait. Other men find you attractive still. I'm not the only one that like you. So he can't get too comfortable because when a man feels like you the only one, when a man feels like he's the best option for you and don't nobody else want you and don't nobody else have access to you, then sometimes he take you for granted and he feel like you're never going to leave him. And he feel like, hey, you all mine. You ain't never going to leave me and I ain't got to worry about losing you. But when other men find you attractive and you still can pull other guys, other guys still approaching you, other guys still in your DMs on Instagram, maybe even on Instagram, you post a picture, a regular selfie. Keep in mind, you might just post a regular selfie and you get a whole bunch of guys that like your pictures and that's commenting and DMing you and stuff like that. And this man, when he see all them comments and all that, he like, what? What's going on? All these guys want my woman. They can't have her. She mine. She mine. She mine. You know, I'm going to make sure that I treat this woman right. I'm going to make sure that I treat her the best because I see that a lot of guys are having eyes for her. So I got to hold her tight. I got to hold on to her. I got to I gotta grab her tight. You know, I got to really, you know, I got to really, you know, put in a lot of effort so this woman don't never even think twice to even leave me, right? For another better possible guy, right? So now in his mind, he like, okay, I got to treat this woman right so she don't go nowhere. And keep in mind, you never cheated on your man. You never cheated. You just told him, hey, another guy approached me. And you may say, but Sid, how is he going to react? What if he get mad? Or what if whatever? How he going to get mad? The guy, the guy gone. You, you came home already. You told him, hey, you know, when I was at Walmart an hour ago, a guy tried to talk to me. The, the, it's long gone now. You don't even know the guy. So, so your man can't do nothing about it. All he going to do is be mad and be jealous. And it's actually a good thing because now he know the other guys want you. And they keep him on his toes so that he know not to lose you to another man. And you not cheating, but other men still find you attractive. And he know because he see it. He see other guys want you. And you tell him, hey, a, 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 a guy approached me today. Hey, you know, stuff like that. Now, that's if you in a relationship, right? You ain't got to cheat. You don't cheat. But make sure that, you know, you still appealing to other guys. Now, if this man ain't your man, and if y'all just in a situationship, and y'all just hanging out and kicking in and stuff, then you can still date other guys because he not your man. If he not your man, and if you still single, then date who you want to date. You ain't date. You could date in his face. What he going to do? He ain't going to do nothing. Date in his face. <laughs> hey, you're not the only one I'm talking to, player. You're not the only one I'm with. You're going to have to work a little bit harder and make the best man win. Because I'm not going to hold up my... I'm not going to hold that spot for nobody that that is unsure about me. So if you want me, 
you better get through that competition if you want me. So, yes, you still dating other guys. Yes, you still seeing what else is out there. And until this man make you his girlfriend or until this man, you know, actually commit to you and stuff like that, put a title on you, continue to date other guys and continue to see your best options. Don't put all your eggs in one basket and don't take yourself off the market for him. Don't let him talk you into being exclusive. No, if we just talking, hey, I'm free to do what I want to do. So that's going to keep that man on his toes because he's like, wait a minute. She's still dating. I know I just met this woman, you know, a few weeks ago. Or I know me and her been talking for a month or so. But she's still talking to other guys. I got to try even harder so she don't go nowhere or don't know other guys, you know, get attached to her. And, you know, she liked them more than me, right? So when this man suspects or thinks or knows that you got other guys around you that find you attractive and that like you and that want you and that want to have sex with you, oh, wow, oh, no, nah, you know, he going to do everything he can to say, hey, Back up off my woman. Back up off her. She mine. Back off my woman. She mine. Look, I'm finna, I'm finna show her how great I can treat her so this woman know not to go nowhere because I treat her the best. I know that other men want her, but let me treat her the best so she don't go nowhere, right? So that's how you get a man to chase you. That's how you get a man to never get too comfortable. That's how you get a man to keep staying on his toes. To get... And that's how you get a man to keep chasing your validation and to always respect the type of woman that you are because you ain't playing with him. And he don't never know because this man going to be shaking, scared to even make a mistake because he know not to play with you, right? So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was my top four ways how you can keep a man on his toes. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.